What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So obviously right here, you can see a pretty cool figure. This is the one six scale Darth Vader by Sideshow. So Darth Vader, of course, is one of my favorite figures and just favorite characters of all time. Um, obviously he is a villain, but it's a story about a guy who, you know, made a bunch of mistakes and kind of just made a deal with the devil and really, I guess his kids come back to like save him. But again, what an amazing figure, super iconic. So I was like, I have to pick this up for the one six scale collection. So this is done by Sideshow and there's obviously many companies that do it. Normally Hot Toys is kind of most well known for these figures, but I thought this one is a great pickup, especially for the price. And I think Sideshow did a great job. So we're gonna get into this and kind of talk about the entire figure. Um, and yeah, so here we go. On the head right here, um, it does have great mobility. Now, obviously you can't take the um, headpiece off to see a face sculpt. Um, that is something that I do wish Sideshow did have, but um, nothing you know super drastic. I do think that would have just made the figure um, that much better. But again, um, it's the iconic Darth Vader mask. There really isn't any problem with it at all. So again, I think if I just had one little thing to like nitpick, it would just be that. Um, it is not die cast at all. It is like a plastic material, super shiny just all around, but looks really great. So going down to kind of the shoulder part as well as the chest, uh, we do have that kind of plastic material with the silver and black right here. And then also on the shoulders, we do have these shoulder flaps that do come out, but uh, it's good for mobility, especially if he's trying to move his arms side to side. Um, on the front of kind of the torso, like stomach area, we do have Darth Vader's iconic light up kind of breathing machine, as well as the two other side ones. Um, you can just imagine that whenever I look at this figure. So really cool that Sideshow added these um, light up LEDs, which um, there is a switch in the back, which I will get to. Um, going down to kind of the pelvis area right here. So we do have this kind of um, synthetic I wouldn't even say like a, kind of just feels like a foam kind of material, um, but really cool. Like it a lot, um, and I think it just suits the, the figure really well. Uh, moving down to the leg area, so uh, this is a very interesting material that is very authentic to the movie. I don't know what to call this, but um, they really nailed it. Sideshow did a great job just like sticking to what the actual um, outfit, you know, was in the movie. Um, moving on to the legs that we have here, um, we do have this really cool um, kind of shin guard material again, super shiny, so that's really important for a figure like this to have that. Um, the boots are just, you know, pretty uh, basic, but they are behind the shin guard. Um, I'm not sure if these actually come off, but again, in the movie, he never really does that, so it's not like a big deal, you know, that he can't. Um, but I'm sure there's definitely some collectors out there that have a, an issue with that. So it is what it is. Um, obviously the hands, so we have some really great sculpted hands and he's doing, you know, that kind of authentic, um, choke from the movie, which I'll show you guys a clip of really quick. Um, but again, it's super cool. I just love, you know, the positioning of it. Um, you can't move the figure, uh, the fingers, but it is really awesome. So we're gonna now move on to the back of the figure. Um, we have this extremely large cape that is right here. Like this thing is literally massive. It's huge. But again, I really love it. I do think it's awesome that you get like that much material in the figure. So. Um, I don't have a Batman figure, but this is what like it makes me think of is Batman's cape. So moving on, um, once we flip it over, we do have uh, the top of that kind of chest plate right there. Obviously with the shoulder pad, same material that goes out in the back. And then we do have the um, battery like box to turn on the LEDs as well as two um, wires right there. So it's great because you're not going to be seeing this if you have the cape on. So really cool. Um, I guess if you did want to take the cape off, you would see it, but um, not really a big issue for me. Um, in the future, maybe I'll do like a stop motion with this figure, but for now, you know, it's not something I'm really thinking about. Um, we have more of that same cape material in the back, and then just um, behind, you know, part of the belt is right there. The same material that goes throughout um, all over the figure. 
So I think this is super cool. Um, now we will go into a different angle just to see the uh, kind of positioning of the figure all around. And then I'll just talk about what I really like about it and what I don't. So um, here we go. All right, so you can see the positioning um, of just the figure right here. So again, super cool. Head sculpt is great. And you know, he just has that hand which is able to move. So it looks awesome, um, super iconic. And of course, super easy to just turn on those lights right back there. So I'll just turn these things off, the light really uh, off real quick. And um, you guys can kind of see what that looks like. So really cool, stands out, especially in the dark. Um, who would not want to be Darth Vader for Halloween? Just so iconic and what a cool figure he actually is. Um, again, Sideshow really nailed it. So I think what I really like about this figure in, partic uh, in particular is um, I think it just really is authentic to the movie. I think they nailed everything that a Darth Vader figure would actually need. Um, the cape is great. The whole outfit is great. The LEDs are the, the bulbs in here and of course the head sculpt and just uh this material i think is just awesome and especially the hand sculpts i think are amazing so again i think sideshow did a really great job of that now the there's a little like a few things that i would say that i do think could have been better um and you know i'm not sure if sideshow ever has plans of making another death Vader, but um one issue of course is just i do think it would have been really cool to be able to like take this off and just see a head sculpt underneath i can i can kind of see why sideshow decided not to do that and maybe there were, could have been like a deluxe version that came with that um i do know there are other companies that did come out with a head sculpt for darth vader um so i understand um and i also will say i do think it would have been very cool to kind of have movable fingers for the figure i don't know i think that just would have been awesome um just an extra detail you know to have with it um and yeah those are pretty much just my critiques uh, again if you are into star wars if you're into darth vader this is a really great figure to have in your collection and you know obviously if you're someone who's like into taking photos this is a really cool figure to do that with especially during the night it looks really cool with the whole like light bulb uh kind of situation so again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Is this a figure that you would want to pick up or not? And if you think there's a better Darth Vader figure in the 1-6 scale community, let me know. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And may the force be with you.